Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a shop with us vlog and we're starting off at the farmer's market. We have actually haven't gone to farmer's market in a hot minute, but out here they partake on Saturdays, Sundays, some days, weekdays, but today the one we're heading to is on Sundays only. It's in Studio City. So we woke up pretty early for this on a Sunday, 7.50, and that is where we are going to first. Oh, but first we gotta get some coffee. Honestly, the owners at that spot are so nice. Like, bring you your coffee and then like spark up a conversation. Like, I feel like that's like having a coffee shop, especially ran by family. I think that's like what it's all about, really. Yeah. Getting to know the community. Yeah, because everyone that goes there is like locals that have been going for a while. They got the regulars and they, they know everyone by name, so I think that's pretty cool. It just speaks volume on the yeah. owners. Oh, this is so good. Much needed right now. My energy is about to come back in like 10, 10 minutes. This is my shopping bag for the day. It says it's Bosa Life. I will link this down below because it is the cutest bag. But I remember to bring this one because it is nice and big. So we just arrived to the farmer's market and we're going to start off with our produce. Fresh strawberries. Fresh strawberries and a bunch of yummy fruit and foods. Places like a science lab, everybody has like plums infused with pea, pomegranate with the durazno. What's going on over here? <laughs> See, like this is gold. If I could actually not kill these plants, I would be so happy. Should we get her? We will take this one. All right, farmer's market is done. Kind of glad we went there first because it was starting to get packed towards the end. And if you guys ever attend a farmer's market, I highly recommend going early. One, less people, not as hot, and you're able to get the best selections of produce that you possibly are looking for or whatever you're looking for. Because sometimes if you go towards the end, everything is gone pretty quickly. And if you guys are ever curious as to if your city holds a farmer's market, go on the website and everything's listed on there. I know in LA there is anywhere from like three to four in almost every county, so you can find one for sure. My ponytail plant made its way upstairs and I'm loving where I placed it because this is exactly where I was thinking about. And the best part is that it is low maintenance, requires water every two weeks, uh, no crazy lighting. I have to look for a planner. So hopefully if I want today, if not, I'm gonna continue looking, but this is pretty big. This is like a whole ass gallon. So I think she'll do good here. I am back in the car. Seb has left to go golfing. So I'm actually picking up Laura right now. We're about to go to a home store. There's this home store in Hollywood that has the cutest decor. And I've been wanting to check it out for a while. Hello. Hello. Not That's it being 100 degrees. Oh, we're vlogging. <laughs> this is the only person that I can home shop with. Also Ale as well, but. Uh, Ale's good too. Stores, we black out in the home stores. We do, and we have to put the seats down in the back. So we're excited because we actually have never been to the store. They, I kind of discovered them during the pandemic, and oh. now it's like a full store. I was moving through things around the house earlier, and I think I found places for new stuff. We're really good at buying stuff, <laughs> and then having nowhere to put it. <laughs> we'll see you guys there. We have made it to the beautiful interior greens here in LA. And how am I gonna leave here without wanting to buy everything, including all the trees oh, in there? Show this. Oh my Look gosh. I'm dead. Same. Hello. Hello. Like, are you kidding me? How stunning the store is. <laughs> I wanna know how they are draining it because there's gotta be some tea on the drainage situation. Oh, look, they got the black pot. Oh yes. Buy it. The color. Buy it. <laughs> Anything that's like non acrylic that just looks lived in and rustic is my kind of vibe. I don't know how or where I would put this, but I want this sink and it's what I need in my life. Doing 
some measurements right now on this gorgeous console that I have been looking at on their Instagram for a couple days now. And the one I have in my guest bedroom is currently 78 feet, or 78 inches or feet? Inches. <laughs> so inches. <laughs> so we'd have a little bit more. Okay, about 24 inches. Which I think it's fine. I'm almost positive. It's a huge, huge wall, and there's still like enough room. Happy to know that it's still here, so I think I'm gonna take it, because it's, it's so be. pretty. It's meant to be. Yeah. What is this, 40 pounds? 30, 30, 40 pounds. Oh yeah, this is definitely. It's leg day. <laughs> It's good, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm like, and I'm sore now. No, this is 40 for sure. 40, right? Look, I can't even lift it above my head. No? No. These little arms? Oh, yeah. This is a good Oh, I could never do that. <laughs> this, this is, is literally a portion of what we're taking. Plus, Karen can this person. I decided, yes, ma'am. I decided to do the console. It's happening. This beauty is coming so home pretty. with me. She's a stunner. And we're not gonna let her die. Holy moly. Secure the baby. We secured her. Laura had to go in the back seat. No, my, <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. Hi guys. <laughs> we are absolutely so happy with our purchases. She actually helps you pick stuff out. Yeah, she'll like help you pair things together. And then I still, I didn't tell you guys, but well, I did tell you guys, I bought the cabinet, which I gotta come back for, but if I would have purchased all of this along with the cabinet at, let's just say, restoration, um, I would have paid way more money just for the cabinet on its own. So the fact that the cabinet was at such a good price, such a beautiful piece, and everything is so good. I'm so happy. I know. I can't wait to go home and style. Let's I know. Stop. So when I get home, I will show you guys all the goodies that we got. Next stop is Target, and we actually we just want to peek. We just want to peek. The one thing we didn't get. I know. These are pretty. It's definitely giving me kind of like that amber interiors vibe. Oh yeah. And these this are and probably amber good outdoors. Would cost you three hundred. Easily. 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 And here you're looking at like what? Twenty five, thirty. Thirty yeah. dollars. Not go. bad. But Target always has cute stuff. Lately, they haven't been giving it to me though. I love to revamp the house, especially during Christmas time. Like I like to get a couple new things that I've had to add on to things I've had from previous years. But this last Christmas, Target did not, they did not come through. This side always has really cute things. It kind of looks a little farmhouse-y, but you'd be shocked to find some stuff that actually doesn't have too much of the, of the farmhouse feel. For example, wait, not an outdoor thermometer. Ah. That's really chic. They're cute. See, this nice? doesn't give me farmhouse vibes. This gives me definitely more like amber interior. Yes, vibes. exactly. But if you were to get something like this, the print is giving more farmhouse. So it's always good to look and see kind of what they have and what you can make work with your casa and what will look fire. Okay, the greenery is actually a vibe here. It actually looks kind of real. Like these eucalyptus ones look real compared to the fake ones that I've seen in the past. I used to be obsessed with mason jars and I just got rid of all of mine. It was time to let go. I upgraded them with some new cups from Amazon. Well, let me know if you guys are still in the mason jar phase or did you get rid of them or were you never into them? So I just got back home and I wanna show you guys all the goodies that I picked up today. So let's start off with interior greens, starting off with this planter and olive tree. She is a beauty and I fell in love with her the minute I saw her. And I've been wanting to add more plants to the backyard. It's hard to find the right plant that goes inside of the right pot. So this is gonna be going in the backyard. I'm very excited and I'll show you guys once I do that where it's gonna go. I also picked up this beautiful stone tray. I would show you it fully, but this is the one that weighs like 40 pounds, remember? When I was doing my squats, this is the heavy one. And then I picked up these neutral pieces that I'm actually gonna spread throughout the house because they're going in different parts of the house. It's not going to look so matchy-matchy. For example, I'm gonna be adding this one in the kitchen this one in the guest bedroom this one in my bathroom i plan on using this in the bathroom for jewelry and rings and earrings you know when you take a shower and you need to put your stuff somewhere i thought this would be perfect and then i also got this small one that i'm going to be placing next to my bedstand and then these beautiful pieces are all made from paper mache and these are going to be going inside of the guest bedroom this one as well so this one's gonna be going somewhere throughout the house. I gotta find a home from it, but I couldn't pass because it was just such a beautiful piece and you can fill up, leave empty, have it as like a the main decorative statement piece. And then, wait, can you guys even see me? It's, I need a tripod. How do I film whenever I'm a tripod? Okay, the other piece I wanna show you guys is this olive tree. Little olive bush, olive tree. I was considering possibly right here in the dining room because we do have a lot of light that comes in through the windows or even possibly upstairs in our upstairs loft. We have an area that 
I think this would look really pretty in. Um, and then lastly, I lastly got this beautiful wooden piece that I'm gonna put in in the kitchen. Honestly, home shopping brings me so much joy. So what I wanted to do with this wooden tray is actually remove this piece. <gasps> Look how big this is. It's literally massive. This right here. Perfect. By the way, this is the best wood cleaner. And I'll show you guys. It's from Method. You can get it at Target. But I'm pretty much doing this just to clean it off. Now let's see if this actually works. Cute. Okay. Love her. Do you guys see the vision of what I'm trying to do here? I do feel that it needs something else right here, which I thought this tray would work, but I don't think it's going to. Place that tray right here. And then inside of here, I'm going to place a candle. I ended up moving the other plant to this side of the house. It's a perfect spot because it gets great amount of shade, great amount of light, and this was actually an abandoned plant. This poor plant was to here a few weeks ago, and now it is lifted again and green, and I feel like the leaves are looking much better than where they were a couple weeks ago. Like, as you can see, there is some damage, but it's okay. We will check back on her in a few months and see how she's doing, but for now, we're gonna let her thrive in her new spot. Currently in the guest bedroom, and this is the table that's gonna be getting replaced with the console that I purchased today. So my parents are actually gonna be picking it up. They fell in love with it, and that's one of the reasons why I was looking for a big piece right here. But honestly, very happy that I found the console. It's perfect in size and exactly what I want. So just like the photo, so just like what you guys saw today, I'm gonna be placing the decor pieces in the shelves inside of there. And then in between, I'm gonna have baskets with guest room essentials, which I don't know exactly what I would add in there just yet, but I'm gonna fill it up with much needed things. I actually haven't done much to this room since we moved in. I still got my home good frames up. I eventually plan on putting some type of light fixture. Um, the bed is cozy. Everyone that sleeps here loves this bed. But yeah, not much updates in this room other than that console, and I can't wait for that. You guys will not believe this, but I just woke up. I got back into yesterday's top. <laughs> Just come on here to close out the video. I was like, I should just play it off as it's if it's, as if it is nighttime, but no, this is reality. I forgot to close out the video, so I'm coming on here to say that is it for today's vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Had a good time hanging out with me. I actually had like an amazing Sunday. Personally, these are my favorite kind of Sundays when I can do home shopping, when I'm able to just do a bunch of things on the to-do list. It hits different on a Sunday. I feel like doing all that on a monday or a friday saturday is not the same it just feels better on a sunday so i'm feeling really happy with how yesterday went and hope you guys enjoyed the video uh if you guys have any questions leave them down below if you guys need links for stuff or need anything else let me know other than that have a great week guys and i will see you in the next video bye